Hey, Aaron and Blaine. So when William and Mary's Law School opened its immigration clinic a couple of years back, it was for exactly this purpose, legal support for those looking to start a new life. But clinic attorneys did not expect to see a situation like what we saw over the summer. Stacy Kern Shearer is the director of the immigration clinic and as tens of thousands fled Afghanistan on flights to the U.S. She says she and colleague Nicole Alonco went to Fort Lee near Petersburg, where refugees were arriving to help assist. Now, anything from giving presentations to helping with paperwork is what she was doing, and that was a couple of months ago. Kern Shearer says now her work is divided mainly into two parts. First, with refugees on what's called humanitarian parole. She says that means they have a couple of years to figure out what they want to do permanently. She and law students helping actively in that process, and it's a process that's been incredibly emotional. You are an advocate for somebody who has been through experiences that frankly I can't I can't imagine and in many instances the students can't either and so it is difficult and we do talk about that about how it's not easy to to, to do this work but it's really important and we are doing what we can with what we have um, in order to help those who would not have access to representation otherwise. And it goes without saying, the legal system, of course, is already complicated for those of us who speak English. Now imagine trying to explain it to people who don't speak English, right? So Curtin Shearer tells me that, of course, has been a huge challenge for her and her team. And the biggest part where people are actually needed, she says anybody who happens to speak Dari or Pashto, those are the two major languages in Afghanistan, could really help. So if you or somebody you know does, maybe reach out to that immigration clinic. Now, if you